Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Relax and I'm back again. Um, oh, that hurts a little bit, but the reason why I'm saying this is that anybody who had an idea of connecting your iToy, the one that's from the PlayStation 2 via USB to your computer, I don't really recommend it because I was using it, I mean, you can get a better webcam, you don't need to be enthusiast and working so hard to get an iToy to work on your, on your PC. Um, let me adjust this if I can get a clear... Okay, you can actually get a very cheap, if you're here in America, they have big lots or Walmart, you can get a cheap Logitech and it's still better quality than this. Um, I You can actually see the resolution. This is me right now in my webcam and I do have the iToy right there. The problem about it is that, yes, it's like I got myself into a DUI and I see red and blue lights, okay? Yeah, I got into a DUI once, but hey, they dropped the case. I live in Riverside County, um, but yeah, they dropped the case. I just don't want to reminisce it because look at that. That is that's a two LEDs, and it's irritating to my face. Right now, you can see me with my webcam. I mean, my 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 camera, and you can see. Look at that. There's me holding my CyberShot camera as that Logitech is recording me, and I use it for my my Facebook and this screen but it is it is quite irritating to see that red and blue light um, I'm gonna go to the dollar store today and progress this up because um, I would like to know if it doesn't make any difference nope if I block my fingers on them it looks like I would just get two electrical tapes to block it because the quality is just equals as much as having buying another webcam and I'd rather do that instead of using my iToy because I mean, see you can see there's an iToy for the PS2 I have it plugged up via USB see them and then um, currently I'm using a PlayStation uh, 3 controller but it's just nothing but a clone controller if you know that definition um, it works on the PlayStation 3 and the PC but if you're using Windows games and it uses an Xbox 360 controller proprietary you're not able to use this but this Oh, it's really hurting my eye, but I'm going to go get a red and blue tape or something, I don't know, um, to block that. So I'm just going to just get uh, um, electrical tape for that. But, yeah, for having it as a webcam, I'm, I'm looking at the resolution. It is basically 380 resolution, kind of. But, I mean, uh, it does have a little bit of scan lines right there. It's just like how I see it on a television because it is an interlaced camera, uh, not progressive. And it has a very, it's sharp, but yet it has a delay from my voice being sync. See? Sync. Hello. And then you look at me right now, you can see this is synced through my CyberShot camera. Anyways, um, if you click on the link below, that's the driver. You can just go to... Um, to this link called um, over here file dropper it says iToy64 and then when you download it uh, it will work in 64 bit only the only drivers I have available right now is a 64 bit um, I would not recommend using the iToy in a 32 bit operating system Windows 7 this was, is basically this driver is, is for Windows 7 64 bit and Windows 8 64 bit and another review is this uh, controller um, you guys probably saw this, me doing a review on the Wii emulator. This controller works on a PS3 and it looks like an Xbox 360 controller. And I just found out this thing was actually glowing red um, on the buttons. But the drawback about it is that when I'm playing games that are proprietary to Xbox Live, I mean uh, Windows for Windows, games for Windows, and if you're going to use a controller and it requires a th Xbox 360 controller, this is not going to work. Um, I even try to use the Motion Joy emulator to emu emulate a PS2 or a PS3 controller into a 360 mode for the PC, but it will not work. This only works on emulators and certain games that supports game pads, but it doesn't have that track because not any. I mean, it doesn't even rumble. Doesn't have a, it has rumble rumble shock, but it will not rumble at all. I mean, um, it only works on. This is only good for emulators, and uh, it will not work with well with uh, games with Windows that supports Xbox 360 controller. 
I was trying to play with my Mortal Kombat collection when I, I see why this is only worth $15. I'd rather spend that few dollars more to have a 360 controller than than a PS controller because um, I had so many other motives to even convert um, PlayStation 2 to the PC. Yeah, I mean, there's so many PlayStation products out there that you can convert to your PC, like, and they have so many drivers. Uh, just like having that USB camera, uh, the iToy, then this PlayStation 3 uh, uh, Power A controller, it's actually the Pro X controller. Uh, you can get it at Walmart. Uh, check out PowerA.com, it's just a clone controller. It's What it is, is like, they use the PlayStation 2 um, uh, components and they use one of these. See that? But instead of having that end, it has a USB. Just see, it plugs in. Um, and then I also have this retro um, other reviews I have here like I I actually have one of those great for emulators this is a this controller I have two colors I have a silver and this is a blue one this blue one is the Mad Cad's retro controller it's beautiful beautifully shaped as the the you know the the Famicom and it does have dual analog and rumble pack and it's great for my emulators and the only drawback is this version of the controller it the analog will easily break so if they because I have this thing is so hard to take apart it doesn't even have screws that I had to use a guitar pick just to remove the adhesive but I got these fixed because I got these at the, the flea market and I even had I had another converter that's USB it's for my Xbox one controller if I can get that an angle uh, this is an Xbox one controller I, oh, never mind. Um, in Walmart, they sell this thing where you can plug a GameCube and Xbox One and a PS One controller via USB, and it has two extra USB 2.0 on the bottom. I used to have it, but I had sold it real quick. But there are so many accessories out there that anything that's USB, they will have a driver independently made to make it work on your PC, especially for Linux and Android. I mean, when you have a, a PlayStation 3 controller, it automatically detects via Bluetooth on a Samsung Galaxy or anything that's Android 4.0 and up. Ice cream cake or jelly bean, you name it. And but yet, yeah, um, yep, this is how that my computer looks like, but with the those lights, ah, electrical tape time. But thank you guys for watching, and and then I'm gonna be making more reviews of even converting my. Um, my GameCube controller to the PC because I made a review of me playing Nintendo GameCube games uh, using the Wii, the using this as a remote control, but it's not really a good controller because um, I get confused from this is for, this is supposed to be the A button and this is supposed to be the the B button, but no, the B button's over here. And I mean, it's, I'm not used to configuring it that way. When I'm, I rather just play it like how it's supposed to be. And I even have another converter where I convert VGA to composites. I mean, yeah, this is a trans decoder. It converts uh, NTSC to PAL. All right, thank you guys for watching. This is just a quick overview of multi-USB. That's why they call it USB. That means universal serial bus connection. Thank you.